So where are we going? Well, I'm going to my Skag dealer. This place. Can you read that backwards? Niagara Lawn and Garden. So I have to go there. The Skag factory rep is going to be there today. And my dealer called me and asked me if I would like to come by. How's the lighting? Is it bad? I think it is. But anyway, we're going to go there because we have some questions for him about new products coming out for Skag. If any of you guys haven't watched it, go to Skag's YouTube channel and uh, check out what they have there. They have uh, a full video. It's like 26 minutes long and all their new uh, products coming out for 2021 or that are already out. And those of you that have uh, sent me all the questions you've been asking me about Skag and the engines and what you can get on different things, they answer it all in that video. Go check it out. For right now, let's get to the dealer. Alright, so let me get some stuff together here, and here we are. As you guys have sh known before, I've showed this many times before, and uh, I've showed being at this dealership before, and I know you guys are in my area, and I know a lot of you guys are, and a lot of you guys watch this from my area. Get a hold of these guys. Niagara Lawn and Garden, the number is 716-297-4783. 716-297-4783. Get a hold of these guys. They will take care of you. They have everything. From one of the biggest steel lineups in our area. Um, they sell Skag. They sell Wright. They are now a Hustler dealer. And they also deal with Cub Cadet. They have the largest inventory of anyone around my area as far as parts go. So if you ever need anything, any maintenance, um, any parts for your equipment, anything, they will take care of it. Their service department is second to none, and they can take care of anything that you need taken care of. So don't hesitate. Make sure you get a hold of these guys if you're in my area. Even if you're not, contact them. They may just ship you the parts you need. Let's get in here, meet this Skag factory rep, and check out what they got.
So there will be more to follow up with that dealership thing and everything about Skag. But like I said, remember to go back and check that video. It's on Skag's website and I believe it says 2021 product updates or something like that. It covers everything. You guys will be pleasantly surprised at the new offerings this year. But anyway, you guys said you wanted more footage with this back plow, so I'm trying to get you as much as I can. But to be honest with you, i just been using the V-Blade for everything. I love that new truck. I'm having fun with it. I'm loving being back into a V-Plow that, it, as I've mentioned, I haven't used for years. So I'm just really enjoying that setup. So this truck really hasn't been getting used. And it's kind of funny because when I got the new truck with the new plow, I said that would be a backup to this one. And now this one's become the backup but this just goes to show especially the times when this back blade is convenient now this stuff was crunchy ice frozen this driveway has not been plowed all season i think we've only had four or five events but it's just it's been freezing cold really cold days we've been getting a few inches here a few inches there and then it freezes over it's not really melting off we did get a little bit of snow yesterday and a lot of that did melt pretty quick because the sun came out nice and hot but this driveway is all concrete and it hasn't been plowed all year and it's just had snow sitting on it so there was no way this was melting off but this one uh solid frozen and it busted right through it you'll see me plow it twice here we'll drag it twice i guess you could say and i really didn't need to do it but i was just trying to scrape it a little bit more i have nothing but time today and uh just messing around but you're gonna see another angle here in a minute if you look really close you can see another camera mounted to that board across the back of my truck so you're gonna see the view from that in a minute but this plow man what an awesome plow and for the right person in the right situation um this could save you a lot of time and definitely make you a lot of money if i had like one of these places i see in my neighborhoods and i know there's a lot of them around uh everywhere you go like apartment complexes condos things like that a lot of parking spaces you gotta drag out of this thing would definitely shine um but again just on regular driveways tight spaces same thing definitely shine that being said i am going to sell this plow at the end of the season i've already decided that i'm gonna pull it off the truck it's gonna be uh this plow it has two brand new cutting edges the poly one that's on it now and it also has a brand new steel cutting edge so obviously it will come with that the four new plow markers i put on it i have brand new solenoids and brand new uh, valves for the pump it has a brand new harness all the way up, brand new controller, everything comes with it. So I'm gonna pull it off and uh, I'm gonna list it for sale. I'm not really sure how much yet. I think I'm gonna list it for 2,000. It's worth every penny of it. And uh, for the right person, it'll definitely make an awesome plow. But stay tuned in a minute here, you're gonna start seeing the other view. So this thing is pretty awesome, like I said, and I think anyone that has it will really like it. I definitely wanted a full view showing this thing from different angles, so anybody that's inquiring about buying it once I sell it, I can just send them the link to this video and they can see it working. It's got the dates of when I used it right there, uh, what I put in the beginning of this, so um, they can see when the last time it was used, how recent it was, and how well it's working. So everything is new, even that little bag that goes over the pump, you can kind of see right there. And uh, it's it's gonna be awesome for somebody that really needs But like I said, I just don't see myself using it enough to keep it around. So, um, it, hey, you gotta try new things. And I really wanted to try it out, and it did everything that I thought it would do. Um, I'm just not gonna use it to the degree that I thought. But when I bought this thing and I decided to buy it, it was before I bought the new truck, it was before I even planned on buying the new plow, um, all that other stuff that I bought. So 
Um, if I didn't have the new truck with a new V-blade, I would keep it, and uh, this would be an awesome setup for this truck uh, on its own. But that's it, guys. Uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, you know, leave a comment, all that stuff. But uh, definitely let me know what you guys think about this. Now with a different camera view here, if you like this video, put it down there in the comments. And uh, make sure you share it, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, wherever. Share it anywhere you want. But hit that thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever you guys like. And I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. And uh, stay tuned, a lot of cool stuff's coming. So it did good. This driveway was super crunchy. It was that hard pack stuff like it just crunches. Got the sidewalk cleaned up for him. Driveway all cleaned up. This thing did really good. Check that out. That's another story. I hit a rock retaining wall the other night plowing. Broke that wing off there. Took like six blocks off the rock retaining wall. It never broke one single weld or bent that. How about that for all you guys that were picking on my welds? How about that, huh?